Yeah. 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 Yeah, well, if you, if you, if, if, uh, I think if you, if you repeat exactly that pigeon strum, get it, to go. My hips. Yeah. I'm going away with Yeah. So what I would do, I might sound like seven, but what I would practice doing at home, uh, and you just humour me for a minute or two if you don't, if you don't exactly need to go, it's just work very gently. <coughs> On. I'm going to put my uh, I'll put my hand here, so we're going to form like a little triangle, right? Use the, the triangle reference point all the time, because it just makes it easy. Now I'm going to put my head through, my arm's going to go through here, and my head is going through here. I'm letting this arm bend. And what you want to practice trying to do, and use this for support, is just taking your knees like this, drawing, I always like you're drawing a circle around your neck with your knees. So look, I'm, I'm, I'm tucking my head out of the way. My head is like going right under my armpit. I'm taking it through here and I'm opening up my shoulder line. And I'm just getting used to rolling along my shoulders. Now this is an extreme example of it. But that is sort of, we're doing a half version of that. It's, no way, it's not actually as skillful. But yeah, you're basically getting to that, and usually what you find is, at this point, when I've gone this way, I've gone to about here, that's all I need to do. Because now I'm back, I've moved, that's a half, kind of 90 degrees, kind of a half revolution. So, I'm just moving my body, at the moment my feet are pointing this way, and as I move through, I would bail to here. And that's really all we're doing. We're going here, I'm going up and then I'm recentering. So I'm moving 90. But if you practice going all the way through here, the full 180 to your origin, all you do is you bail off halfway through the ride. That's all we're really doing, is we're bailing. Yeah? So you did like 90 there, and then your body yeah. went, which is all we're really, really doing in this movement. But if you get used to mastering going, 180. This will, the, doing what we just did, starts to become like super easy. So you're tucking that head all the way under, as far as you can. You're going onto your shoulder. So keep tucking your head. And if all you do is 45 degrees to begin with, it's fine. You'll figure it out. But what, what helps you roll through is taking this head. The further you can take your head through this peaky boot, it's almost like I want to take my head here, and sink my shoulder through this gap. So you see, I'm almost trying to get past my shoulder between my knees. So you're getting used to keeping your knees as high as possible. So as your hips, if your hips drop, your knees come through and you finish the revolution. So you're just trying to keep those. Yeah, go on, and then, you, yeah, use your arms there, Adam. You, you nearly did it, okay? Very, very close. But the point is to attempt this to get good at, at either doing 45 degrees, 90 degrees. The more you attempt this, eventually you will. And, and people at the beginning will always be like, oh, I can't do this, I can't do this, I can't do this. You really can. It's, it's a lot, it, it, but it is like, you have to get very precise around where you put your hair and so on. And in the end, it just clicks, like riding a bike. It's a bit how we listened yesterday, or was that initial just getting your head clear out of the way, so you're on your shoulders and yeah. neck. And even just the sophistication of wherever you get to it, just the sophistication of the uh, of the skin X idea. And I, I think the other thing I'd say is doing this from the iron pillow is actually, if you, if you prefer doing just this, like Zishan, if you prefer just doing this, 
of just going from the pillow yeah. and just practicing, just getting, you know, just getting kind of comfortable with just throwing your hips up and then square at 45. So this, this actually, I think makes it, it's actually easier to do it. I'm just giving you like the ultimate example you can, you can do on your own. But like, you're just in iron pillow and you're just practicing, tucking your head in and just going in. Because that's all you need to do in reality. In reality, you don't need to be able to do like, you know, 180 degrees. You just really need to have a hip here. Just, oh, I've gone the wrong way. And get back, you know, 45 a lot of the time. I just did 45 there. 45 is often enough. Because you're just going, you're just going up. Using your head, using your elbows, pushing in, squaring back up. Yeah? If, you, if you're then aware of <laughs> that distance from your hip, and it's kind of as, mini, as, as little as you can. Yeah, you don't need to, yeah, oh, absolutely. You don't need to do a massive roll. It's just practicing the extreme sometimes is, for some people, that's the way you get it. You get it working. But in, in, in truth, in practice, you're just, you've gone the wrong way. You actually want to do as little of this as possible. Because you found there's a trade off between having your head up. Obviously, you need to have your head up to roll onto your shoulder, but then yeah. you, you, you could give away the, you know, the pass from if you're not. Yeah, and the guy can switch sides on you if you, you know, are doing big 180s and not creating enough distance. You can switch sides and pass you on the other side, and you can all that work for nothing when what you wanted was a simple 45. But just getting used to coming out of the iron pillow into that backward roll. Um, I've, I've done this a few times where I'll set this up even when the guy's tight. There's a video of me with um, I can't really want to do it. I need to do it with Joe. Joe had me, I mean, Joe's gnarly, and he had me in this position. I was iron pillow, and he was on my back here. He was on my back, and what I just started doing was throwing my hips up. It's like pushing. I was kind of playing, giving him the arm a little bit, and then I land here. And a lot of the time, what you'll find is you actually land in the, in the triangle choke in the arm bar when they're tight, when you get good at this. So you just start using bits of them. That's where it becomes a bit more arm. You gamble a bit, you give them an arm, they think they've got an arm, and then you're getting back square triangling them while they sort of thought they had an arm. And they're like, well, what am I doing with this arm? And it's exposed. But it's like, yeah, but is it really? Because I've got them here, I've used him a little bit to push up, and it's like, oh, you're in a triangle. You're in a triangle. So, you know, it's a real opportunity to go from defense to, but building that up, building just building up that backward roll at home on the carpet when you're watching the TV or whatever. These things are so much benefit at just these basic gymnastic drills, because you can build your game around them. Um,